that's right. Here we are again. We're going to put the pencil to the paper. We're going to draw a YouTuber. All right, man. Let's get at it. Let's do this. Blind viewers, what's going on, everybody? Here we go again. That's right, we're gonna draw another YouTuber. Thought I'd try a different angle. I usually do that straight on thing, but I figure I'm gonna try something just a little bit different this time. All right. So, a few people have asked once or twice, have you had training and in art and all that good stuff the answer to that simply is no um back when i was a youngin <laughs> yeah back in the day when you went to school and you had you know gym class and you went out for recess and you had music and art and all that other kind of fun stuff yes I took that art class where we did all kinds of stuff. We drew things and uh, did little sculptures and all kinds of stuff. In that type of a setting, yes, I had an education, I guess you would say, or some teaching. But as far as going to an art school or anything like that, no. I've always been a doodler. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to draw all kinds of dumb stuff, you know, the little stick figures and I'd make them in different little positions, and then as I got older, I would draw. Actually, I used to get a bunch of pieces of paper and tape them all together and draw like a big oval, and I would have racetracks. <laughs> I would draw like a racetrack, and I'd draw all kinds of little cars and have some of them uh, crashing and spinning out and little skid marks and just dumb shit like that. And uh, then I started doodling and drawing whatever plants trees apples and then i started dabbling and trying to draw people didn't go so well but yeah and uh back in the day and back of certain magazines there used to be these little things uh for i guess it was for an art school but they would have uh draw tippy it was like a turtle and you just draw the turtle what you saw and then there was a little bird and I think there was like a pirate and some other things and I used to draw those all the time uh, I think I sent them in like twice but again I was only like I don't know 12 13 something like that so nobody really took me seriously but uh, yeah I had fun and I've always drawn I just started drawing and drawing and drawing and then as I got into my adult years, I didn't draw as often, but I still, I still draw. Um, different places I worked, they would ask for ideas for things or something like that. And I would always grab a piece of paper instead of trying to talk and tell people stuff. I would just uh, draw. I even made a couple of logos for businesses and stuff just for fun. You know just throw a couple ideas down and hand them and they would take them to a graphic artist and they would you know refine it and do all that good stuff but yeah i've done several little things like that another question i get a lot is do you draw your tattoos well i drew a couple but it's just an idea when you put something on paper it's way different than putting it on skin paper's flat you uh, have to try to use things to make give dimension and all that other thing, but um, you know the shading and the shadows. But when you put something on skin, you have to scale down the detail, pick what you want, pick what's needed, and depending on where it goes, if it's going on a leg, you know, on a calf or something like that, it distorts because of the shape of your body on arms and everything. And when you move and flex and you know, like say a face, you don't want to put a face on your chest and have a, uh, you know, like a, an eye and then a nipple, you know, it's, it's weird. But anyway, so I've given like little sketches or doodles to a tattoo artist who takes it and 
does whatever they need to do to make it go on whatever body part so it doesn't look goofy, distort. And things are supposed to face a certain way and this and that and the other. So yeah, paper and skin, two different, very, very different things. So yeah, as far as tattoos, yeah, no, I don't really do all that because you can't do certain things with a, a needle on skin that you can do on paper. And the tattoo artist knows what he needs to do. And so, yeah. But no, I've never had any formal training. I just draw. Um, I look at things and I just kind of try to make it look the same. Um, I uh, haven't done too many portraits. I mean, I do some, but they're really difficult to do, actually. You, uh, one little line a centimeter off and it changes everything. That's why I kind of like doing these little cartoony caricature type thingies because they don't have to look exact. It's not a, you know, line for line drawing. I can focus on something, an area, exaggerate things so I don't have to do all that. But these are fun. I do all kinds of, I mean, I do little ocean and beach scenes and I, I draw other things besides just people. Um, I like this. This one here, it was eyes. I focused in on the eyes a whole lot and kind of gave them most of the attention. Um, and she has very thin lips. So I really didn't, you know, pay too much attention to the mouth or do anything weird to exaggerate that. It was just mainly focusing on the eyes and trying to get the hair to look kind of right, you know? But yeah, I had fun with this one. As always, I always have fun doing these. As I always say, if I didn't, I wouldn't do them. <laughs> but again, I tried a little bit different of an angle. And uh, eh, it turned out okay, I, I would presume, I guess, but I don't know. I don't like to critique my own work because, well, I don't know. <laughs> I always nitpick to death and I think this could have been different and that could have been different. I should have done that right or changed that, but eh. What are you going to do? So now I uh, just wanted to talk a little bit about, yeah, I don't, I, I don't have any training. I just do what I want and have at it. Here we go, this is little uh, Miss Worm's eye. Princess Pippa Worm. Good old Pip. And I gave her her little uh, necklace, rendering of her little necklace. But uh, yeah, it was the eyes. I mainly focused on the eyes. Here she is. You tell me what? Yeah, no, maybe, close. Alrighty, big eyed Pippa. <laughs> Alright guys, come back. You never know who I'm gonna draw next. What we do here is go back, 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 back. Loud. 